One thing we all know is that there is no trauma quite like a TikTok trauma. Those traumas inflicted on and documented by TikTok influencers and um, used by those same influencers for social media clout are by far the worst traumas known to man. Nobody in the world has ever known the sort of suffering that this group of poor unfortunates experience every day of their miserable lives. Case in point, take TikTok vlogger Jessica, who went viral over the past few days after posting a video to her 600,000 plus followers revealing the purported sexual harassment that she encountered at the gym. She also posted the video uh, to Twitter along with this caption. This is her caption. She said, this guy kept making me extremely uncomfortable at the gym. This is why I'll end up crying on stream because I feel so grossed out at times with the amount of sexualization I experience. Hopefully this spreads awareness for girls who experience this type of treatment at the gym. In the thread below the video, she further explains that this man was staring at her for, quote, disturbingly long periods, and that this triggered her, quote, fight or flight response and conjured up memories of, quote, previous traumas. She emphasized that she's tired of being sexualized and just wants to work out in peace without anyone watching her. It sounds like whatever happened exactly, it was pretty terrible. I mean, obviously, this guy at the gym, he's a pervert and a creep. He's lurking off in some dimly lit corner, staring conspicuously at her. That must be the case, because the only other possibility is that this woman is a narcissistic drama queen and a liar looking for ways to entrap innocent men so that she can slander them on the internet for clicks. And that just doesn't sound like anything that any woman on TikTok would ever do. But let's consult the actual video just to uh, find out. Here it is. This is how to not approach girls at the gym. I hate this. I hate this. I hate when there's sweet eyes. It's me so uncomfortable. Feral, 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 like feral. There's mirrors everywhere, so it's like you can easily ca catch people. Act. Oh, this is nothing. Okay, we're gonna move on to the 35s now. I want you to watch very carefully. Let's watch. This is the five as five pounds. And these are the grids. Excuse me? You don't have to do that. It's okay. No, no, it's okay. I got it. Thank you, though. Ah, okay. So he glances over in her direction a few times uh, for less than like half a second at a time. And then finally walks over and tries to help her put the weights on the bar. And she declines his help. And he says, okay. And then he walks away. The end. And they all live happily ever after. Well, I mean, he does maybe, but she walks away traumatized, crying and shaking, barely able to hold herself together because a man briefly noticed that she exists. Now, before we analyze this incident, one thing you should know is that this video is one installment in an ever more popular genre on social media. There are apparently many videos of men, quote, harassing or, quote, staring at women at the gym. These incidents are usually captured in the same way. There's a woman at the gym filming herself working out for whatever reason. And in the process, she catches some man in the background quickly looking in her direction. She isolates the clip, posts it to the Internet, and then shames the offender for his conduct. Here's just one more recent example I got some attention a couple months ago uh, of this sort of thing. As I said, there are many others where this came from. And this one, a TikTok influencer named Adriana claims to have captured footage of a gym employee, quote, being a pervert and gawking at her while she takes her shirt off. And you may ask, well, what the hell are you doing taking your shirt off in the middle of the gym? We'll get to that in a second. But um, anyway, here's the video. Stand up for myself. He threatens to call the police and revoke my membership. Okay, I thought so. Are you okay? Keep it pushing. If you're getting, if you're getting rude, you can leave. Nobody was looking at you any time you This is why we need sex segregated gyms. We just do. Like male and female gyms, 
that that's the solution to all this stuff. Because let me tell you something. No man at the gym, been to many gyms in my life, men are not looking for any kind of drama at all. They're just there doing their thing. And they're not looking for any of this. Just like if you're there and you want drama and gossip and you're looking for problems and you want to leave and have something to talk about to your friends, like, well, guess what happened at the gym? No man wants to leave the gym with that kind of story. Guess what happened at the gym? That's something that some women look for. And so we just need to be in separate gyms. Just, just do your own thing. That's what we need. Have you ever read the fine print that appears when you start browsing in incognito mode? It says that your activity might still be visible to your employer, your school, or your internet service provider. To actually stop people from monitoring your online activity, you need to do what I do and get the only VPN you should trust, ExpressVPN. Think about all the times you've used Wi-Fi at a coffee shop, hotel, or even a friend's house. Without ExpressVPN, every site you visit can be logged by the admin of that network. That's uh, still true even when you're in incognito mode. ExpressVPN is an app that encrypts all of your network data and reroutes it through a network of secure servers so that your private online activity stays private like it should. ExpressVPN works on all of your devices and it's super easy to use. The app has one button, you tap to it to connect, and it's as simple as that. Stop letting strangers invade your online privacy. Protect yourself at ExpressVPN dot com slash Matt Wall Show. Use my link at expressvpn.com slash Matt Wall Show to get three extra months free. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N dot com slash Matt Walsh Show. In this case, once again, uh, he looks in her general direction from what, what might add up to like one and a half seconds total, although she slows down the, she puts it in slow motion to, to make it seem longer. And this makes him a pervert deserving of public shaming. He glances over at a woman Taking her shirt off, whether or not that's the reason he glanced, she decided to do that, and that's he makes he's a pervert now because of that. Now, let me just make a few points here. First, there are many reasons why a person might look in your direction while you're out in public. These women, because they're raging narcissists with a severely inflated sense of their own importance and their own physical attractiveness, just assume that any person who looks at them must be admiring their beauty. But particularly in the, in the first video, I can easily imagine several other possible explanations. He might have been looking because he was wondering why the woman was filming and muttering to herself like a schizophrenic. He might have been feeling self-conscious because he, he knew that he was probably in the background of her shot. He might have been thinking to himself, she's not filming me, is she? And it turns out she was. Or he might have been glancing over because he wanted to turn with the equipment that she was using and was waiting for his chance to swoop in as soon as she moved on. Okay, he may have been frustrated because he's trying to get his workout in, and he's got this woman sitting there filming a social media video with the damn equipment he wants to use. You know, that's, that, that is something that happens. I had this experience at the gym over the past weekend. I was using one of the benches over at the dumbbell station while there was a guy who was kind of lingering in the background staring over at, it wasn't just me, there were other people using the benches, and he's like staring over and continuously sort of, you know, looking, and then he'd look back. And I didn't assume that he was looking at me because of my striking good looks. I also, I didn't even assume that he was looking at me and thinking, hey, isn't that the what is a woman guy? The latter possibility was much more likely than the former. But instead, I assumed that he wanted to use the bench that I was using. And uh, then I got up and he staked his claim to it as soon as I was done confirming my theory. So this is all very normal and fine in a gym. It's what people do. And nobody has to be publicly shamed over it. But let's say that in the case of these women, the offending men really were looking over, at least in part, because they found the women physically attractive. So what? Okay, that still would not constitute harassment, much less would it make them perverts. It would just make them normal men whose only sin is merely noticing a woman. This doesn't make them, you know, this doesn't make, doesn't make them harassers, it doesn't make them perverts. It just makes them men with functioning eyes is, what, is all it does. Second thing, here's a tip. If you're a woman and you don't want to be noticed by men, if indeed even the brief glance of a man offends you and causes trauma, then you might consider wearing clothing when you go out in public. Now, I'm not saying you, you need to cover yourself in a burlap sack or hit the gym in a parka and, a, and snow pants, but I am saying that you probably want to wear more than just your underwear. So both women are working out in skimpy spandex shorts and a sports bra, a uniform that has become, by the way, quite common at gyms all across the country. At some point in the past few years, the nation's women decided by majority vote, I guess, that clothes are optional when working out in public. 
And yeah, according to the laws in most states, apparently, they're free to treat the gym like a nudist resort if they so choose. But they're not free to control everyone else's minds and eyeballs while they perform a strip tease at Planet Fitness. The woman in the second video, she actually strips down to her underwear in the middle of the gym. They have locker rooms for that purpose, but she chose to do it in public. Perhaps next she'll give herself a sponge bath while standing on the treadmill. I mean, who knows? The thing is, you don't behave this way and dress like that unless you want attention. You can claim otherwise, but you're lying. You dress that way because you want attention, period. There is no other possible motivation for walking around in public in your underwear. If anyone does that, man or woman, you're looking for attention. Depending on what you look like and whether you're a man or a woman and all the rest of it, it it'll determine what sort of attention you get. But you're going to get attention if you walk around in your underwear. If any man, you know, men don't do that. Do you notice that? Men aren't rolling up to the gym in their underwear. Like, when's the last time you saw a man at the, at the gym wearing just boxer shorts and nothing else? I've never seen it. But guess what? If a man did do that, people would be staring. Women would be staring. Maybe because they find him attractive or maybe because they're thinking, what the hell is that guy wearing at the gym? But here's the thing with these, with these women. They want to control, they want the attention. They want the attention, but they want to control exactly what sort of attention they receive and from whom and for how long and in what way. They want attention, but it must be attention that fits their mood at any given moment. And that's just not how this works. Okay, life does not work that way. No matter how much you want it to, it doesn't. If you go out in public and say, hey, everyone, look at me, they're going to look and you're not going to get to control who looks, for how long, all the rest of it. Speaking of trying to control the type of attention, keep in mind that these women are recording their workouts to put on social media. They're supposedly self-conscious about being watched, yet they're posting the footage to the internet so that thousands of people can watch it. They don't want to be noticed while they work out, so they work out in their underwear on camera. There seems to be a logical disconnect here. But it's a symptom of the disease that we just talked about. People these days, not just women on TikTok, though especially them perhaps, are desperate for attention. They're starving for it all the time. And yet, while going out of their way to solicit the attention of countless strangers, they still think they should be able to control the manner and duration of the attention. Most of all, they want all the attention to come through a screen. So they're standing in a room with other human beings, demanding the attention of everyone who isn't in the room, while wishing to be invisible to everybody in the room. If anything is perverse, it's that attitude. Finally, ladies, if you're wondering why you aren't meeting any decent men out there, it might have something to do with this. It might be because they're afraid of being publicly shamed as rapists if they even so much as glance in your direction or, God forbid, try to speak to you. If a man could potentially be a pervert simply for noticing your presence in a room, if he commits harassment by trying to initiate any kind of conversation or interaction at all, then the game is hopelessly rigged against him and he loses automatically. More and more men will decide just not to play the game. It's not worth the risk. And that's exactly what's happened. And that is why, and that's all happening, by the way, thanks to women like Jessica and Adriana, and that is why they, in particular, are the ones who are today canceled. And that'll do it for this portion of the show as we move over to the members block. If you're not a member, you can become a member today. Use code Walsh at checkout for two months free on all annual plans. See you there. If not, talk to you tomorrow. Godspeed.